Hello, hello, and this is Mazum Shia from Percolation Gaming, and today we're going to be checking out War Z, a new game that has nothing to do with Day Z aside from being a clone. Thus far, anyway. And right there is the worst sound you can possibly hear. That rifle shot you heard is what makes this game entertaining. It panics you. Full of flight or fight decisions, and bandits are very scary people. I'm playing with a group of friends, there's four of us in total. This game's only an alpha, so it has a little bit of leeway when it comes to being so barren, but not really. It's an incredibly barebone game at the moment. So what all can you do right now? You can scavenge items, travel in safe zones and transfer your items to other characters, which is a really cool feature, but it eliminates the fear of dying pretty heavily. I mean really, if you play it safe and just farm for hours on a character, at some point you would stop caring if you lose your machine guns and ammo, right? You have plenty more in the bank, what's it matter? Then there's the PvP aspect of it, which you're pretty much forced into. No one is ever nice enough to just let you live. Seven out of ten times, it's easier just to shoot on sight and loot their bodies, provided you don't die. So after you get some ammo, gather some food, water, maybe even some larger bags, what then? Your only other option for fun is to kill people. I mean, really, it's not like you can eliminate every zombie and win the game. There's a respawn rate. That's the only gameplay there is. Run around, collect, and kill players. So what about their laundry list of promised features? It's certainly interesting, but to expect all this anytime soon is pretty foolish. War Z is an MMO, so there is a leveling aspect to it. At some point, there are no classes, but there will be a talent tree of sorts available to you as you level just increasing effectiveness as items such as healing, how much food, damage you do, stuff like that. There's going to be more maps, and they plan on enlarging the current maps. As it stands right now, it is 440 kilometers in the Colorado map, which I believe is twice the size of a few of the DayZ maps, if I'm not mistaken. So the only thing that's appealing to this is the explorer aspect. Yay, I guess. Then the promise of making it so that you can group with friends, clans, and play together. So, wait. Grouping, friends lists, and clans aren't in the game already? No. No, they are not. And it is incredibly annoying. You just have to hope that you don't get lost and try not to kill your friends. They also plan on implementing cars at the game at some point too, hopefully soon. I believe in the current patch that is coming out on the 22nd of November, they're supposed to be included in that. Hopefully it's worth it. So let's start with what makes this game good. The game is pretty stressful when you can really get into it. If you actually care about your character, it has that whole third person simulator thing going on. Shoot things, make sure you don't die, survive. When you die, your character isn't lost forever, though there is a hardcore setting. Which means that if you die, your character is lost for forever. You do, unfortunately, still lose all your items. More on that in a minute, though. It is its own standalone game, not just a mod. It looks pretty. Avoid the texturing used on houses and trees, which is absolute garbage. They're incredibly pixely, blocky, and it is just an eyesore. And really, that's about it. It's like comparing a child's choose-your-own-venture book and then comparing it to something like the ever-popular Dungeons & Dragons. D&D just has so much more depth and enjoyability to it. As of this alpha, what is wrong with the game? Oh my, that is a pretty long list. Surprisingly, there aren't many bugs, and so I'm not going to really nitpick about that. They did a really good job there. All the complaints really are for the gameplay and its lack of features. The character creation is just plain lousy. There are four characters to choose from, one only being female. Then the only features that you can really change about your character are the clothes they're wearing, which there's only about four sets, 
choose when you die. And then there's like some skin tone features and then a little bit of facial changes. Nothing much though. Another problem is when you die, you lose all your items, which is understandable, and then you are no longer able to play your character for a full hour. There is no way to revive a player or even to attempt to revive. There are only, I believe, four character slots you have. So if you get spawn camped, which is a thing in this game, four times, too bad. You no longer are able to play this game for an hour. Yes. That's right. The game essentially promotes that you go play other games instead of theirs. Not everyone is going to want to have multiple characters, especially when talent points are implemented. They just want one. Then you can't play these characters for a full hour. Are you kidding me? I don't normally like to rag on people, but jeez, who's the idiot that thought this up? Who wants their players to actually stop playing their game? Your game is hardly good enough to play once, let alone four times. Drop some of these idiotic restrictions, for the love of God. There are at least 70 servers up and running, though, which is actually... They're all pretty populated. So good for you, I mean. That's pretty cool. You actually have a community for your game. Now, the problem. When you switch server, it starts you off where you logged off, not at a certain spawn point or random places on the map. This is a terrible idea. What this means is that you can log off, switch servers, and spawn right on top of someone and kill them immediately. And there's absolutely no chance for them to react because they didn't know you were there. So a person can just do this over and over and over, killing and collecting with little to no risk. Good plan, guys. The zombies are incredibly dumb and can be easily outran or outsmarted, as you see right here. I just crouch on a wall and I'm safe. How to kill a zombie? Lots of head damage. Blunt force trauma is kind of your best way to go, but unfortunately it's too damn hard. I mean, you saw a while ago how we just kind of went after a zombie, three of us hitting it with flashlights and hammers in the head, and it didn't do anything. I mean, look at this. Hammers and flashlights, we're gangbanging this zombie, and he makes it seem like we're trying to kill Roller... Ah, Roller Cop. Robocop with a wet Nerf bat. 30 seconds and two teammates later, we finally killed a zombie with just melee weapons. Seriously? We're tr clearly hitting it in the face, but it just doesn't care. The hitbox is either too small or melee damage just isn't enough. Now since two of our two mates have been slain by the Destroyer of Worlds, a buddy and I have to collect all the useful items and it's time to move on. This was totally worth it. At least I have mo weapons now, I suppose. A moment of silence for the ones we've lost, please. We've pretty much got everything that was in the camp, which wasn't a lot. We found some hats, some chips, and some water. That was way worth it. So to conclude, this game has a lot more flaws than it does perks. It's very basic gameplay, though it is fairly nice looking. But really, there's no reason to play this over DayZ. Even if their complete list of features is done and released as soon as tomorrow, the gameplay is flawless, there's no bugs. Everyone is playing this game, it's the new rage. What's the point? DayZ is even getting its own standalone release by December this year, which is why I know a lot of people don't really want to play it. So what does it have over War Z? Vehicles, hunting, barbed wire, animals to ward off zombies, grouping with friends, radios, boats, bicycles, aircraft, motorcycles, quads, better respawn rates. Now that is what you call a well-polished game. This on the other hand is just a poor copycat. Now my friend for some reason derped and tried to take on all the zombies by himself which did not go too well. I had to resort to reusing the gun, potentially alerting bandits. As the cycle continues, this has been the War Z Alpha. I hope to see you guys next time.